Stay tuned after this brief message from GE Aviation. We insist on being more than we are today, pushing the boundaries of what's possible and reimagining the way the world flies. Today, the digital industrial era begins. Embraer's static display lineup includes a trio of debutante aircraft, representing the three core elements of its product portfolio. The E190E2 airliner, the KC390 multi-role transport, and the Legacy 500 business jet. If anyone remained in any doubt as to Embraer's standing in the aerospace and defense big league, the Brazilian group's strong presence here at the 2016 Farber International Air Show will surely dispel that. A look at the size of this uh, you know, KC390, is the largest aircraft that Embraer has ever developed. The E2, it's a continuation of the E1 and the Legacy 500, so also a new product in the business jet unit. The E2 has made the long trip across the Atlantic from Brazil, just 50 days after it made an impressive first flight. At Farnborough, it is vying for attention with rivals such as Bombardier's C-Series and Russia's Superjet. We have over uh, 70 customers in 50 countries around the world for the E-Jets. And when we think about Embraer jets generally, commercial uh, jets, both the ERJ and the E-Jet, we have over 100 operators around the world. For the E-Jet alone, we have over 15 million flight hours, a lot of tacit knowledge that Embraer has enjoyed in that. And therefore, as we design the new program, uh, the new family, the E2 family, from the 175 E2 all the way up to the 195 E2, we again have right-sized the family after listening to what the customers have wanted. So on either side of that family, at the 175 and the 195, we expect new operators to come in uh, that are not even on the current uh, franchise footprint. So very excited about that. And in particular, the 195, where we've uh, extended the range now, we've extended the seating capacity by three more rows. That's an aircraft where the seat mile economics uh, are very close to the A320neo and the 737 MAX 8, and yet the trip cost is significantly below. So that aircraft is a perfect complement, not a competitor, but a perfect complement to the larger aircraft from Boeing and Airbus. So when we think about the uh, fuel burn per seat, the E2 is up to 10% lower on a fuel burn per seat basis than the C-Series. That's a, that's a factual statement. Um, and when we think about airframe economics and the, the costs of uh, maintaining the airframe, up to 25% cheaper than the C-Series. Embraer is billing the KC-390 as much more than a traditional military transport. The all-new twin jet has been developed for a wide variety of missions. I think that this is the, the main concept that you are bringing to the market. That with the one, one plane, we can do many, many applications. Uh, I think that with the limited budget, with a modern avionic, uh, uh, absolutely the best uh, uh, life cost uh, uh, in, the, in the category, I think that it will really bring value added for the clients. So we are pretty sure that it will be a successful in market. It's a clean sheet design. It is uh, Embraer's commercial DNA brought to the, to the military environment. It brings fly-by-wire system. It has the best avionic, Rocco calling, I don't the best and updated avionic in the market. I think that uh, we are pretty happy and pretty satisfied with what we, we, we have done. The new look for Embraer at the Farnborough Air Show extends to the company's management team. With refreshed leadership, for the defense and commercial airliner sections, as well as a new group CEO. We are at a new stage of the company. Uh, we are very you know, proud to have these uh, three brand new products here in this, uh, in this air show, at Farber Air Show. So the KC390, uh, the E2, and the Legacy 500.